challenges to do business in China is the culture difference. Hong Kong has the experience of doing trading business with people all over the world for at least a century. Especially since the 80s, um, a lot of foreign company came to Hong Kong and start doing business with Chinese people. So people from Hong Kong really understand both worlds. If as Canadian SME, if they have not doing any business in, in Asia before, I, I would strongly recommend you know they spend a few years in Hong Kong first to have better understanding of Asia. Hong Kong is kind of like shopping paradise for for most of the Asian, especially for the middle class and, and, and upper class of the mainland Chinese. So they come from Hong Kong because they want to they want to buy the real products. For the simple reasons, not not necessarily cheaper or whatever. It's just simple reason they can buy the real things here. There's a lot of e-commerce platform in mainland, but if they buy the mainland e e platform, they probably don't care the quality. They don't care about the the, the, the whether it's real or fake product. They just care the price. But the consumer, if they buy from Hong Kong platform, they want to buy the real real products. If you look at the mainland market. Who is the highest income? Who, who, you know, is those educated? You know, after they have university graduated and they are young, they are like 25 to 40 years old. Their DNA is, is digital, basically. Okay, it's quite different from the Western. I would say in the, in the Western world, in the Europe or the US, quite a lot of the middle class or, the, or the, especially the high income, wealthy class, they are the retirement people. They may be like more than 50, they are still on the end of the world not in the digital world yet. So they are still reading newspaper, but look at the, if you're going to the Chinese market, you're going to the mainland, who, who, who's, who, who's reading the newspaper? They're all on the, on the, on the digits, right? So um, if you're talking about e-commerce, I think China obviously is, is a focus, you know, and that's why they have basically dominating and has a significant influence in the, 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 the retail market. And from the consumer point of view, you know, they got more choices. How can you go into a shopping mall? You, you, you got hundred thousand different products for you to choose without leaving your home. You know, it's 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 very convenient. So I think the consumer is changing. Quite, especially the, the young consumer, they change a lot. With the internet, with the online shopping, um, it's very different from the old model. In the old retail model, the merchandiser decide what the consumer need. The advantage of the, of the online shopping is there's, there's no more merchandiser. So the consumer can contact with the supplier, with the designer, directly. We import tea from India and sell it in China. Normally, we just do e-commerce or doing wholesale, mostly done by emails or there's an app called WeChat. It's quite common in mainland China and a lot of people use it very convenient. It also comes with a payment system, which is very popular and getting more popular in China. If you have a good partner that can handle the customer service and shipping and handling, that would be a good way to do it. How we do the logistics, I'll give you a very good example. You know, we sell the hairy crab from Hokkaido, from Japan. If you place an order with us this afternoon, our partner, they will go to our Tokyo warehouse and they'll go on the plane tomorrow morning and then come to our warehouse and then we'll deliver to you before your dinner tomorrow. And then you still have a live hairy crab from Hokkaido's. The China market is always looking for something new. Business module, any new idea, new product, new service or technology. My humble advice will be come and try now we know with technologies, you know, we can just put your product, film a shooting a, a, a nice video of your product and, and some you know good photo, get a very, very detailed descriptions of your products so that the consumer can understand, can have a more stronger feeling of what exactly you are selling. That's good enough. Why don't you just connect with the Hong Kong consumer, connect with the mainland consumer directly? This is the new world.